welcome to Random and Desperate. Now today we are at the Armenian aesthetic ride kebab house in Blackpool and this is the oldest kebab house in Blackpool. It didn't open till five. It's only open four days a week but it's one of the best kebabs you've ever tasted. Now usually there's a queue outside the door so I've got here super early so I'm the first in the queue to be served but look at this wow now it's 15 pound I've got 15 pound for a mixed kebab so come and join me on my little adventure today on this kebab house Are you okay? Apparently this is the best kebab in Blackpool. Well, some people say so. Right. <laughs> it's one of the oldest as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, my father started it. Oh, yeah, yeah. father? Yeah. And you're carrying on the uh, family business? Oh, well, just keeping it going as long as we can. We've all got day jobs, you see. So oh, just right, okay. As as can, can I have a mixed kebab, please? Of course, yeah. Anthony will take the door off. Thank you, I'll go over here, buddy. Can I get you any cabbage or onions on that? Sorry? Would you like any cabbage or onion? Yes, please. Yeah, and what sauce would you like? We've got. About, we can't talk about spoons or something. Spoons, yeah. So we served the, the it's all homemade, the chilli yeah. sauce, and it's served on like tablespoons. So we two's about average. I'll have three spoonfuls of chilli. Three chilli, chilli, yeah. Two garlic. Two garlic. Two mint. Mint sauce, yeah. yeah. It's not a yoghurt, it's like a green mint sauce like you put on a Sunday exactly. dinner sauce. Exactly. Yeah, is that okay? Two of them, did you say? Or yes, please. Two. Is that everything? And a can of unhealthy cold, please. I've got Pepsi, is that all right? That's fine. Yeah. And what name can I write on your order? Random and Desperate, it's new tuber. <laughs> Random. Yeah. Yeah, it's 15. And you're order number one, buddy. Right, thank you. So you're local or? No, I'm from Manchester. Oh, yeah. yeah. What brings you around to Blackpool then? Well, it's like a single man's. What I do is, it's like a single man's blog, you see. Oh, right. I've really been recommended this one, I say. And it's apparently everything's homemade, everything's yeah, fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my parents still do the prep. Yeah. You know, 75. 75? Yeah. In the of the back, no problem. Thank there you very much. Well. Nice to meet you anyway, pal. That's all right. All right yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Pal. Cheers. Fist pump. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I'm touching food, aren't we? So yeah, yeah. It's safer. Well, I'm sat at a local cafe and I'm going to try this. I can smell it, man. This doner kebab, this mixed kebab, this costs 15 pounds. I said, this is the best kebab in Blackpool. Let's have a look. Look at this. Look at the size. Oh, man. Look at this. Now, this is homemade in Blackpool. Let's try it. Oh wow, wow. Mm. I have ate many kebabs in my lifetime, but this. Oh. The flavor is amazing. Wow. Wow. The doner meat. Lots of salt, lots of fat, lots of flavouring. Remember these? 
these people we went to this is homemade it's not from a factory it's not pre-made like most kebab shops this is done on the premises wow the proper tra traditional greek kebab oh, this is lush absolutely lush so you are in blackpool you got to try this place i will put the description where it is All it is, a traditional cabbage and onions, that's all it is. Mm. This kebab is made by, you saw the son, by the father, 70 odd, he still makes it now. Usually there's a queue inside that kebab house, but wow. So unique. They have the spooling system, spoony, yes. I recommend three chilies, two garlic, and their mint sauce. Remember, everything is homemade, it's not brought in by these corporation giants, everything is homemade, and you can taste it. Absolutely amazing. Best fifteen quid I have ever spent on a kebab. I've had many kebabs in my life. Single man, go to a pub, and what do you want? You want a kebab. But this. Unbelievable. It's like made in the old Greek way. This is a hidden gem of Blackpool. It's proper meat. I'm be honest, I don't want to make the kebab meats, but this. Oh. Wow. You've got lamb. Now, it makes you get lamb, chicken. You can see him cooking it from fresh. So, uh, even the pita bread is made fresh. Mm. So I'm going to enjoy this, finish this kebab with my healthy coke. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Wow. In this beautiful dog park in Blackpool, South Pier. Let me know if you ever come to Blackpool, try this and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, people. I will guarantee this is something you've never tasted before. See you later, people.